This is the Balaclava man speaking. Ah, yes. I've been waiting for you to call all evening. So did you do it? Did you kill the translator? The deed is done. So where is my money? Well, that is all well and good. However, I cannot trust you until you give me proof. Okay. I'll give you proof. Turn to BBC One on your television. Why would I do such a thing? Do you want your proof or not? <sighs> I suppose so. A man in a balaclava has been suspicious around these grounds yesterday morning, and we think that he may be the one that murdered the man. Oh, Jesus. Smith reporting from the scene. That's you, Christine, in the studio. <laughs> oh, yes, my plan is falling into shape. With the translator dead and lower out of his reach, James will be in so much pain that killing him will be like taking candy from a baby. I'm glad my skills have come into great use for you, but however, they come at a price. Now where is my money? Meet me at Brixton Park, with James's body. How can I do that when James is on 24 hour lookout? I don't bloody care how. No Detective James, no money, good bye. Sweet at long last.
why? Oh, why? Why does this happen to me? Um, please keep up with food to Mrs. Lyons. Um, Detective Joe speaking. Hello? Yes, put him straight through. Yes, I'll speak to him now. Thank you. Hello, this is Mrs. Lyons speaking. Um, is Detective James calling? Ah, yes, James. It's nice to hear from you after the recent death of your co-worker. I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Don't be. Well, it seems uh, a surprise speaking to you so early after the death. But I suppose you've called for your next assignment. It may come to a great shock to you, Miss Lyons, but it is not. Oh. Right. Well, I'm quite surprised at that. I've just been looking at your records and your assignments are fully carried out to 100%. Well, how can I help you? So, what's the problem? Just call me James. Why ever thought? I'm designing. You can't, James. You're a top agent. You just can't walk out like that. My letter of resignation will be in the post for you tomorrow. But James... I can't deal with this anymore! Oh, deary me. Oh.
It's me, Mrs. Lyons. I'm just ringing to confirm your resignation. Ah, oh, yes. Awaiting for your letter of resignation. Should be in the post any second now. Okay, and I presume it's pointless me trying to make you change your mind. Ha! Slightly know me back to that, Mrs. Lyons. Well, I do. How? You've only just started this job. Well, let's just say, I'm one of the most important people in your life, James. But you just do not know it yet. What? Oh, nothing. Anyway, for the sake of your friends, just stay at MI9. Friends? What friends? All my friends have been taken away from me, or killed. I don't think you know the situation I'm going through right now, Mrs Lyons, do you? Well, I know more than what you think. Please, Mrs Lyons, stop talking utter nonsense. I do not work for MI9 anymore, and anything you say will not change my mind. Anyways, Mrs Lyons, I'd better go. The post has just arrived. The letter of resignation will be in the post for you tomorrow. 
James. Goodbye. But James. Oh, goodness me. Oh, dear me. The old MI9 training camp. It's been ages since I've been there. What question is, what does he want? Come on, Jack. Tell us where you are. Old MI9 training camp. Have I been here since the early age of five? No? Six? <sighs> Brings back some good times and certainly some bad times. The question is, what does Jack want me here for? <sighs> Just 
construction. Or maybe, or just maybe, he wants to be a new person. Well, there's no time like the present. Onwards and upwards, as I say. Let's go. Could we have a little bit of order, please? Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I've preferred a, a short statement for you. Scotland Yard and MI9 have been working very hard together for months and months, trying to search for one of our uh, official agents. We can now confirm he has disappeared after a classified event which happened earlier this year. The agent concerned is Detective James, one of our top agents. He is aged 24, with brown, spiky hair, and he has no living relatives that we know of. The last sighting of him was on Sunday, the 24th of March, at the bottom of Horton Green Avenue, around 11.30pm. If anyone has any information, or knows the whereabouts of Detective James, please call 020-739-572 and ask to speak to Mrs. Lyons, the head of MI9 headquarters. Thank you very much for your cooperation and ladies and gentlemen, that is all I can say for the moment and I'm taking no questions at this time. Thank you. told you. I keep on telling you time and time again, but you wish to keep on nagging me. I don't do this anymore. Now you listen to me, James. You've left the country with no permission from MI9. So is this a new law to the government? I can't go on holiday without taking my absent details into MI9. James, we thought you were dead. And what gave you that impression? Well, you abandoned MI9, just so you could have a good old strop. And I have my reasons. Strop? Do you know even what I have gone through? You don't have a right to even treat me like this. I've lost so many people in my time, so many, and I just can't take it anymore. So you were quitting just because of the loss of your friends? I'm not quitting. I'm giving up. 
Well, I think for giving up on your country just because of the loss of your friends, I think that's bloody insane. To you, yes. But could you control yourself if the same happened to you? Just trust me, James. You know nothing. Excuse me? Stop trying to change the subject. And where the hell are you, James? If I told you that, Miss Lyons, I would have to kill you. I'd like to see you try. Is that a threat? And what are you going to do about it? Wait, wait a second. Just, just stop this. Just stop this bribery now. Oh, James, just listen to yourself. You're putting your country at danger. And especially at a time like this. OK. OK, Miss Lyons. Tell me. If you can bring me back, describe to me the problem and do it in one word. One word. Go on then. Jack. Airport. If you don't do this mission, you can kiss goodbye to your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> 